This is Terry Marie of Real Mountain Pictures with your video tip of the day. Today's video tip is how to film from a boat on the water. Uh, I took this footage while over in Italy on Lake Maggiore near Lake Como, going up to one of the forts on top of the hill. And there will be some shots that you'll see that you like and some that you don't like. And I will recommend which are the right ones. Start off, you know, getting a feel of the setting. This was just a very small little boat, short crossing, 10 minutes, I think. So I got a boat and the pier and some of the locals. Then I did a, just a no motion shot, holding it perfectly still, completely boring. So if you're doing a still, try and put some movement in it. After you do the still, like up to the clouds, makes it a lot more interesting. I also did some of the uh, pilings or whatever they were in the water. Have no clue what they are, but you could just do a short, tiny little clip of this. And if you can, get some footage of the locals. These were some Italians obviously going over to the island for the day. Um, speaking in Italian, if I left the volume up, you could hear it. Okay, on the boat and we're moving. Get that shot. If possible, get the shot before where they actually toot the horn that they're leaving, ring the bell, whatever they do. They didn't do this in Italy. Italy is completely different. Sometimes they go when they want, they come when they want, they take breaks when they want. Um, just, but if you can, put that shot before this one as you're crossing the water. You'll notice this was facing one direction, nice pretty clouds but it didn't show the beautiful city, which is on the other side. Uh, this is a really nice uh, shot. You can see there's more clouds over there though, and it's darker. You see the church steeple, and then I did a pan up towards the beautiful mountains up north towards Switzerland. And this next shot, this is one of my favorite shots because the boat crossed right in front of it. We're pulling away, it's just beautifully composed. Look for something like that. Then there was a unique feature that I, I noticed as I was filming and I zoomed in, you know, bad zoom. You cut that when you're actually doing your editing. What I also did is I put my iPhone 8 Plus up onto the window, don't do that, because uh, the boat, boat was vibrating and the footage is just warbly. But the shot itself would have been a good composition then to go up into those beautiful hills. Now, a short crossing, we're almost uh, to the other side. This direction is facing north and then swinging around to the west. And I want to show you how different camera angles will uh, make your footage look better. This is facing northeast. Beautiful. The lighting is great. The clouds, it looks like a much better day on this side of the water. And it's just probably less than a mile apart uh, coming into the little tiny dock and this was the best footage I could get of our landing. Uh, ideally, you'd want to be in the front of the boat, but there were people there. Um, and this is just a nice swinging pan around the area where we landed and um, or docked. And a nice, beautiful look at the lake. Now, this is completely different. The serenity here is amazing on this shot, and they were in the same location, just at different angles back to the the shot and then onto the boat going back. Obviously we did a bunch of stuff in between here, but on this one on the water, I'm just focusing on the water. This is a different direction facing north in the background and you'll notice how beautiful it is. This is west, much darker. So use those kinds of, you have to do a little test while you're filming right away and you'll see which side you should be filming on. This one was northwest, so we got the best of both worlds. You got some of the scenery, the buildings, and the nice lighting. And then I took a different angle of it with a pan towards the Swiss Alps, which you can almost see. They're right there, but you can see I swung it around to the fort that we actually did visit. And that was the purpose of that trip. And did the whole footage with the Italian flag as we're pulling to port. So, Next time you're on the water, use some of these tips when applicable and you'll create some beautiful footage. See you next time.